What's going on dudes? Uh, I'm back with some Team Deathmatch on Summit today and it's been a long time, at least over a month, month and a half since I posted a video and uh, I just want to let you guys know that I am coming back, you know, I'm ready to start fresh. <laughs> um, instead of, you know, the past like three videos I went back and watched like my channel and basically every video it had been like two or three weeks since I posted a video and I said the same old stuff about what I had been doing in life and why I hadn't posted a video. So instead of doing all that crap again, because I, you've already heard it like four different times, um, I'm just going to tell you that I'm back. And leading up to Modern Warfare 3, I'm going to be posting um, a decent amount on this channel of some Black Ops gameplays and stuff like that. And then obviously when Modern Warfare 3 comes out, there's going to be like endless amounts of videos with all the new maps, all the new guns, all the new point streaks, like the new survival mode. There's going to be so many things to post about and talk about that, uh, you know, I'll have plenty of content once Modern Warfare 3 comes out. And uh, I'd have to say the most, the thing I'm excited for most in Modern Warfare 3 is the fact that quickscoping is back. Um, you know, I was really experimental with that in Modern Warfare 2. I wasn't like the best, you know, I wasn't like an awesome quickscoper, but I got some decent clips, you know, some of my montages were okay, which, um, I kind of regret deleting. Like, once Black Ops came out, I deleted all of my Modern Warfare 2 stuff, and I had some pretty sweet videos. Like, I had like a nuke on there that I got within like two minutes, two and a half minutes of the game starting, you know, and it was like on a Ground War Team Deathmatch game on Afghan. I don't know, man. I just kind of wish there was some of those gameplays that I would have kept on my channel, but for some stupid reason, I deleted all of them. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty excited for Modern Warfare 3. I hope you guys are as well, you know. Uh, I, the biggest complaint I hear about it is that it just looks like a souped-up version of Modern Warfare 2, but I'm perfectly fine with that, you know. If they just fix all the stuff for Modern Warfare 2 that pissed me off, like, I would be perfectly fine with a, paying $60 for a repackaged Modern Warfare 2 game you know, they won't be as frustrating and piss me off as much. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I'm liking all the things I've seen out of it. There's actually the best video I've seen, because uh, a lot of people have only posted like a minute video, a minute clip, two minute clip here, and they've posted like 10 different videos. But there's actually like a 13 minute video out there of like all the combined footage, like of all the different people's like gameplays that they have. And um, I don't know, it just seems really nice, man. It seems really refreshing. The maps actually look you know, decent and not from like 1960. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like Treyarch and for their next uh, video game should definitely pick something, you know, futuristic. Obviously, they can't make it Modern Warfare because, you know, I'm sure that Activ I mean, uh, Infinity Ward has some kind of like rights to that and that Treyarch can't continue to do that. But there needs to be some kind of way that they can make it more like not so old school, not so old timey, I guess. Because, you know, I feel like Black Ops was a good game, you know, they they basically did everything we asked. They took out all the perks, all the overpowered guns and stuff like that. They patched guns when we, excuse me, they patched guns when we asked them to do that. Oh, and that's the reason that I picked this gameplay, by the way. I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, <laughs> you guys have probably already left a shitty comment in there about using the FAMAS and the 74U by now. But uh, I picked this gameplay because it really shows you like the timeline of Black Ops. You know, these are the two guns that pissed everybody off during the entire time and this is actually what made me decide to post this video is like as I was playing this I was like dude this would be like an awesome topic to talk about during a commentary you know when this game first came out the AK-74U was like so overpowered everybody was like it was the UMP of this game you know it was the UMP was like pretty much like the best submachine gun in Modern Warfare 2 and everybody used it all the time and it was pretty badass with a silencer for anybody that never played that game uh, and so, like, everybody just hated this gun, and then it got patched, and then all of a sudden the FAMAS, which I used for, like, the first half of this gameplay, uh, became overpowered. And now I feel like the worst thing now is what I'm using right now. I picked up somebody's gun, and they have Warlord on here with, like, I think extended mag and grip? Or is it rapid fire and grip? Um, actually, that's, no, that, this is just extended mag and grip. Um, the thing I'm talking about is rapid fire and grip. Like, that shit is just out of control. Like, I hate it. <laughs> I can't stand when people run up on me with that. Um, but I guess I can't complain too much because they do have to give up the sleight of hand perk to use Warlord with it. But if you're in my position that I was just in and I already had sleight of hand and got lucky and picked up somebody's gun that had Warlord on it, you get the benefits of both perks. Uh, but anyways... This gameplay is wrapping up here. I think I get one more Valkyrie rocket kill here. This one actually like direct impacts this kid. <laughs> and then I'm going to get one more kill here at the end for the game winner. And then it, it'll be over. But uh, I appreciate you guys that 
have stuck around and are actually seeing this video that have been subscribed to me for a long time. And I apologize for not posting any videos in a long time. And uh, Zombies Habit here, picking that guy up. And then if you're new to this channel, I hope you guys will stick around and see what I have coming up in the future. And uh, I will talk to you guys shortly. And uh, have a good day.